I love this game. Love, love, love it. Crash Bandicoot Warped is one of the definitive games of mine and a lot of people's childhoods. Uh, finishing off the trilogy in style and pushing for a more cinematic campaign. Yeah, you heard me right, but we're finding the gameplay in any way they could. The story of the game is just like the second game, taking place right after the events of the last adventure. Cortex is defeated with his device crashing into, a pl into the planet, unleashing a great evil. It is revealed that Cortex has been working for this evil mask, Uka Uka, the whole time trying to free him, but doing a terrible job at it. Now that he's out, he wants to grab the crystals and wreak havoc on the world and beyond, and it's up to Crash and the gang to stop Cortex, seal the mask, and save the world. Again, not a completely original plot, but I'm down with it. If you're coming off of Crash 2, don't worry, the gameplay is almost exactly the same as the first two, with the exception of a bit more level variety. Now, the first big improvement was adding a dual shot control scheme for your movement, which feels a million times better than the D-pad, especially now that I'm older and I have huge sausage fingers. A uh, second improvement, the level design, in my opinion, is without a doubt the best in the series, because they have access to all these time periods, they can be so creative with them. You'll be going all over the place, from medieval time, to China, to underwater, or far in the future. It's great stuff. Uh, except for the underwater sections, I've always hated these levels in any Crash game. My favorite addition is the levels where you play as Coco and you ride the cutest tiger in the world. I mean, just look at him! But outside of that, you just run forward, dodge obstacles, and spin anything that gets in your way. Oh, and there are some motorcycle sections and parts where you dogfight in a plane. It is so crazy, all the things that you do in this game. One small complaint is that if you go through the game without replaying any levels for time travel and the secret levels, then the game only clocks in at two and a half hours, which kind of sucks. So try and do everything and get your money's worth. But if I had one real complaint, it's the bosses. At the end of every world, there's a boss. With the exception of the second to last one, it's way too easy to take them out. And I know this was made for kids, but really, I think they could have given us a bit more of a challenge. Uh, speaking of challenge, though, if you want to get everything, you'll need to beat the time trials and smash all the boxes, which in this game gets progressively harder as you get to the point where you just, like... I just can't do it. I can't even do it, man. It's so stress-inducing. But for those of you who can do it, right on. You're hardcore. But for everyone else playing the main game, it's a hell of a good time, and I highly recommend you play this game. Even if you have no intention of doing the first two, it's available on a remaster on PS4. Or go classic like me, whichever you like. And in the end, I'll give Crash Bandicoot Warped an 8 out of 10. I'll see you guys next time. Guys, thank you so much for watching and if you did enjoy that video make sure to hit that like button and if you want to see more videos like that make sure to hit that subscribe button hit that little bell in the corner so you're always notified on upcoming videos if you want to see other reviews that I do on my main channel I do uh, Universal Gamer reviews which are longer more detailed reviews on games that I like you can keep seeing more quick and easy reviews on my channel and I have King Game reviews which are vlog style reviews and I do streams so if you want to see some streams you can come to my channel and check those out again thank you guys so much watching and I'll see you guys next time.